DC is ripped. Yeah, dude. DC's, biceps. DC's fucking jacked. All right, here we go. Let's play some melee. Hitting those protein shakes. The protein right. shakes are here. Shake a leg. Now we're gonna we're jobs. gonna play some melee. Super super awesome melee guys. That's gonna be what the show's called. <laughs> I can feel the melee muscles. Oh! What? I can feel the melee muscles in my body just in invigorating. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I lost this back at knob, dude. <laughs> down. 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 On, Mark. Down. <laughs> oh, we're living. Ho! Oh. <laughs> okay, here comes the multi shine. Oh, fuck me, dude. Let's go. Uh, yeah, dude. When in doubt, when when you're not feeling the Falco. Pinkies out, dude. That's pink, right. The pinkies are out. Side. I'm honestly kind of convinced side B is the most underrated move in the game. Like, oh, what am I gonna do? Fucking. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, uh, that worked. Ho. What's up? Ho. Oh. Ho. See, dude. Like, I'm telling you, the side B is too good. We are the melee scientists. We uh, we got this. Up hey guys! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to melee theory. Um, that's just the theory. Bye guys. <laughs> Tune in next week. Uh, we're gonna go find us some pygmy people. <laughs> you ever just think box isn't that good? You ever wonder that dream is Dreamland uh, Sandy's tree dome? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait! All the signs are there, dude. <laughs> yeah, you got Patrick floating in the background over there. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Dude, there, was there ever- I feel like- I feel like I remember playing a, 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 fun, a Spongebob fighting game. Like, there was this game, it was called Spongebob Light Cam Lights Camera Pants, and I oh, feel dude, like- Oh dude, I've heard of that. Dude, I was all about the Spongebob fighting games back- or not the Spongebob fighting games, but the Spongebob games back Dude, all, all one of them. And I feel like- okay, so like, Lights Camera Pants was like this like Mario Party type, type of game. And I could have sworn there was a, a fucking mini game where you just beat the shit out of everybody. <laughs> and I feel like that needs that right there could be competitive. All right, we're all right. No more playing hit, around, dude. Hit we, you with the best character in the game right here. The paper airplane versus the paper, <laughs> dude. And will the paper get folded today? This is what uh. Serving it up Gary's way. Oh, whoa, did you just see like Mr. Game Watch kind of like nonchalantly go out of that grab? There needs to be a mind game in Smash. I've been I've been pioneering this for years, but where you just fucking like screech in the middle of the match. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, there goes there goes Matt, dude. There goes Matatari. He must be playing it. Oh fucking hell! I know Matatari when I I, I hear Matatari, and that is un hundred percentably. <laughs> <laughs> <Not Atari. laughs> I'm glad we're recording, dude, because this is this is like the fucking time where Game and Watch proves his worth. Oh yeah, you fucking uh. <laughs> you know what's better than the airplane? The air. Planes. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Game and Watch is actually fucking Doodle Bob, dude. <laughs> Tell me he's not, dude. He beeps and he boops, and he's and he... not of this dimension. <laughs> He and he, violence and, uh... <laughs> he bowled a perfect strike on Patrick twice. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Nintendo's been building up to the Spongebob reveal for years. They own Nickelodeon. They are Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, biggest plot twist of the century. Fucking Nintendo. Like, hey guys, that was us the whole time. We did everything. We caused World War One. Yeah. We caused World War Two. Yeah. Yeah, and actually that one wasn't us, but, uh... You know. <laughs> We almost did. We were thinking we about it. We almost did. It, it, was on the beat us too. it was on the drawing board. <laughs> but around that time, we were really starting to work on Super Mario Brothers 2. And <laughs> Mario The Lost Levels was only released in Japan because it was going to be like way too fucking tense for Americans. And that's because the game's secretly about the Vietnam War. It like oh, yeah. Mario the, the lost levels are actually in Vietnam. That's why everything's way harder because Vietnam was fucking hard, dude. Not only the war, but it was hard for the the American peoples. To and that's what, what they were seeing. That's what Nintendo was trying to fucking convey, dude. Is that war? S oh, Game and Watch. Oh. <laughs> The whole point of this series is just so we can document all of the bullshit that happens when me and Quentin play Melee, dude. <sighs> oh. <laughs> okay. We are alive, and we're singing, we're in, in a, a store, and we are... In this time of peril, I think we need to bust out the, the Christmas battle, dude. 
<laughs> Should we do the Christmas battle? We got goes. Walter Hobbs. Walter Hobbs in the flesh here, ladies and gentlemen, versus Buddy the Elf. <laughs> we, from an undisclosed source, have um, access to the Elf 2 movie script before it was canceled. Uh, the premise of the movie is Buddy gets fucking jacked, dude. Like fucking ripped like christmas just got this guy so pumped that he had to go to the gym and do like fucking typo every day so like okay all is well after elf won you know everything's great buddy's getting jacked um next thing you know um it's like all fine fine and dandy the whole family's at a christmas dinner or they're no not even a christmas dinner at this point they're just at a, a casual family dinner and Walter said something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or Walter may have said something that pushed Buddy a little too over the edge. So Buddy responds with, uh, "That's why you were on the naughty list." And that's when Walter <laughs> gets this. <laughs> it's that's when Walter... everything went south, guys. <laughs> and we're not talking like the elves, dude. We're talking actual fucking like the south. The dude. tables flipping over, chairs. <laughs> dude, this is uh, so Papa, Papa Elf's house, dude. <laughs> We don't even this is know what's left. Yeah, this is what's left. It's just shattered into oblivion. So Walter gets pissed and uh, has this now has this vendetta against Santa, <laughs> and Buddy's gotta stop him. He, he's just fucking like <laughs> it's just this whole two-hour <laughs> death battle movie, dude. Just between Buddy and Walter, just like completely different direction than the first movie. Like you remember the first Elf? It was great. It was like. Timeless Christmas classic, uh, you know, something that you can watch with the family. Uh, this one, absolutely not, dude. This is like, this is like, I don't even, this is advanced elf, dude. <laughs> it's fun for all ages, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way, buddy. I gotta get to Santa. And he's like, I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Walter. It's when he gets the minigun out and he just goes, <laughs> goes to town on Christmas, dude. He just goes to New York City. And that's when, uh, that's when Walter and Buddy actually <laughs> team up. That's the, that's the real shocker there. And that is how Christmas was saved. And the timeless Christmas classic. Is <laughs> Some <laughs> critics rave. Better than the first one. <laughs> critics also rave. It, it's like the new Passion of the Christ, dude. It's fucking... It's like <laughs> Will Ferrell, like you've never seen him before, dude. Like Will Ferrell getting the piss beat out of him. <laughs> <laughs> For two hours. <laughs> like you thought you knew Buddy. But turns out, he's you actually... You don't know Buddy like I know Buddy. <laughs> Oh, dude, Santa's, all right, we got the fucking manager. Okay, who the fuck is this guy? How do, how do we twine in Mewtwo to Elf? Oh, uh, well, uh, it could be the guy that's in the flow. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, it's a, <laughs> what the fuck is that guy's name, dude? And what better guy to help uh, with the flow than the fucking manager at Gimbal's, dude? <laughs> and they're battling out at uh, Sandy's Tree Dome. <laughs> well, Donkey Kong has the best running animation. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's like... It looks like it's like fucking Happy Hour at Golden Corral. He's like, oh god, I gotta get my chocolate fountain. <laughs> gotta get that chocolate fountain. Dude, please, please sponsor me, Golden Corral. It's been since 2008 since I've been to a Golden Corral, dude. Like, See, like dude, I'm super, in the flow, dude. I gotta get out of the flow. Gorilla. The fucking manager at Gimbal's is helping me get out of the flow, but I can't- I'm too much in the flow that I can't get out of the flow, dude. Dude, that is. That, Back dude, on game just, theory. That, that's life right there. Smash that's theory, the dude. Uh, quotes here. Smash is not a fighting game. It's a game about a bunch of Nintendo Love. characters. <laughs> it's a game about, yeah, a bunch of Nintendo characters who want to help each other out by getting them out of the flow. So what they do is they beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> We, Until they get out of the flow. It's like <laughs> life, dude. It's like, it's a metaphor. <laughs> that was, uh, the Super Smash Guys Take Melee. Uh, Dot com. Well, uh, peace out. Yo. Peace, peace beyond to you, live longs. Peace on. Peace ons and croutons. <laughs>